children, it's Pastor Matthew here for our children's praise lesson. We're looking at question 59 with the catechism, still talking about that fourth commandment, which is, do you remember what the fourth commandment is? There is, you should have no other gods before me, you should honor the Lord's name, not take it in vain, you should have no idols, no other idols to worship, and the fourth commandment, the fourth commandment is that there is one very, very special day that we set aside to God. It's called the Sabbath day. But really, we actually call it the Lord's day. It's a really special day, and we're going to learn why it's so special here in this question. Question 59 says, which day of the week has God designated as the Sabbath? From the beginning of the world until the resurrection of Christ, God established the seventh day of the week as a Sabbath. From that time until the end of the world, the first day of the week is the Christian Sabbath. So, what that answer says is, before Jesus came, the seventh day of the week was the Sabbath. And now that Jesus has come and risen from the grave, the first day of the week is what's called a Christian Sabbath, or our Sabbath. So, you might remember this picture of one in seven. It's like a fraction. It's what we call fractions. And one of these slices is different than the other. So one out of seven of them is a different color. And it's the same way you have when you have pizza. One of these slices of pizza is gone because it's different and special. So even though you only have six slices of pizza, there really was seven. But one is taken away because it's special. Well, that's actually how our weeks work. So I want you to see this image about the days of our week. Today is Sunday. You're watching this video on Sunday, which is the first day of the week. And tomorrow is Monday, the second day of the week. And then Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, which is the last day of the week. Now, Saturday used to be a Sabbath day for people long, long ago in the Old Testament. But now, Sunday is our special day. We changed from it being the last day of the week to today. You see in the image, today, yesterday was Saturday, tomorrow is Monday, but today is the Lord's Day, it's Sunday. Now let me show you why. In Matthew 28, very first verse, we're told that Jesus rose from the grave. But we're particularly told that they went to the tomb to visit him. And it says this, Now after the Sabbath, which is Saturday, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. That's Matthew 28, 1. So what that means is, on the first day of the week, both the Marys went to the tomb and they found that Jesus rose from the grave. And so now it's called the first day of the week. It's Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. It's Resurrection Day. That's why you're here today. That's why you're at church and worshiping Jesus, because he rose from the grave to give you life. And so we should worship him because he's worthy.